I'm Army Private First Class Mohammed Almeola, and tonight we bring you a summary of the second day of the best warrior competition held at Fort Devens, Massachusetts. This morning's first event started with a bang as the competitors made their way to the firing range. The soldiers then took to the streets with more than 30 pounds of gear on their backs as they roughed it through the ruck march. The conditions on the road and at the range were less than ideal. And with nearly freezing temperatures and steady rainfall, these soldiers had more than just each other to compete against. Despite the added challenges, each of the 36 U.S. Army Reserve soldiers demonstrated exceptional perseverance and mental fortitude. From the Fort Devens firing range, Specialist Christina McKenzie brings you our first story of the day. Fire is on even lanes. These are your targets. Day two of the best warrior competition held on Fort Devens started off with a rifle and pistol qualification to test Army Reserve soldiers' marksmanship skills. This year we have 11 competitors, both from the PCH at Press Camp Headquarters and the band members. And i got to tell you, I'm very impressed to how they come out and very strong. And they're so dedicated and motivated to, to win this thing. In addition to the 99th Regional Support Command's 11 competitors, the 80th Training Command brought 25 of their own soldiers to see who among them has what it takes to be their command's best warrior. Thus far, our warriors are uber motivated. They're excited to be here. I'm hopeful that their, their feet will keep up with their level of motivation later in the day and I'm just r really happy to, to see not only the, the warriors but their, their sponsors come with such high motivation. Throughout the day, the rain and the cold winds were no match for the mental and physical fortitude of the soldiers and the grueling six-mile road march tested their limits but strengthened the competitors' camaraderie. We're still all soldiers and we're still used to being a team, so we give each other tips and help each other out when, whenever we see other people struggling or just offer advice. After the Ruck March, there will only be three more events until the winner is declared Best Warrior and move on to represent their commands in the U.S. Army Reserve competition in June. Reporting from Fort Devens, Massachusetts, I'm Specialist Christina McKenzie. We conclude this evening with a very special piece about an event held at Fort Devens designed to preserve the story of America's most decorated World War II combat hero, Sergeant Audie Murphy. While the event was not directly connected to the best warrior competition, Army Staff Sergeant Ray Boyington brings us inside of this Audie Murphy board. The Sergeant Audie Murphy Induction Board is the final step before soldiers are selected to be members of the Sergeant Audie Murphy Club. Members are recognized for a significant contribution to the development of a professional corps and regarded as an example of what a non-commissioned officer should be. As such, the induction board to be selected as a member isn't easy. It was definitely a challenge, which is good. I wanted to be pushed, uh, like the NCO Creed says, to strive to remain technically and technically proficient. Um, it's important for me to have opportunities like this that pushes me. The induction board features a variety of tests, including the recital of the creed of the non-commissioned officer, scenario-based questions to test competent leadership and knowledge, and facts about Sergeant Audie Murphy's life. Reporting from Fort Devens, Massachusetts, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Ray Boynton. This evening marks the second completed day of the Best Warrior competition. With the results from the ranges and the ruck march undisclosed, we have yet to find out who was on top of the leaderboard. With three more events left, the one thing that we can assure is that only the best soldier and non-commissioned officer will carry on to represent their commands in the Army Reserve Best Warrior competition. Until then, Thank you for joining us at the 362nd Mobile Public Affairs Detachment, where we stay moving so you stay informed.